Here we have a model of the human brain. Let's orient ourselves to it. <clears throat> this region, let me hold this like this. All of this region here is the cerebrum. There are two hemispheres, hemisphere here and hemisphere here, divided by the longitudinal fissure right here. Here we have the um, cerebrum with these gyri and sulci. These are the sulci, and the tissue is the gyrus. Here's the <laughs> cerebellum that also have gyri and sulcus, sulci right here. Let's go back to the cerebrum. The cerebrum has lobes. Here is the frontal lobe of the cerebrum, temporal lobe of the cerebrum, occipital lobe, and parietal lobe. Um, there is one more fissure. There is a lateral fissure right here that is a deep groove that separates the frontal lobe from the temporal lobe. Other general regions of the brain uh, include the pons, this large bump here, the pons, which in life is not divided. Large bump is the pons. The medulla, this region right here, kind of tapers down. And then from about the probe down <coughs> is the spinal cord. Okay. This is another model of the brain that I need at this point, but let's orient ourselves to this model. Here we find cerebrum, here's cerebellum, this is pons, this is medulla, and then down here is spinal cord. So it's based essentially the same. But on this model we have the hypothesis or the pituitary gland, which is dangling from the base of the brain. It dangles from this white, on this model, this white little stick-like thing, which is the infundibulum. So here's the infundibulum, here's the hypothesis or pituitary gland, and we're back to the inferior surface of the human brain. We'll go back to the other model for the rest of the things. Okay. Next we have um, the mammillary bodies. In a human there are two. There's one white bump here, one white bump here. These are the mammillary bodies. Anterior to that is on this model a hole or a piece of wire that used to be the infundibulum. So the infundibulum that dangles the pituitary gland is right in this region on this model. Just slightly anterior to that we have the optic chiasma. You can see the optic nerve in this way. Optic nerve crossing here, so that's the optic chiasma. This is the inferior surface of the uh, human brain. Now we have some uh, structures on the dorsal surface we need to find, but we aren't able to see them just from the dorsal surface, because in this model I can't bend the cerebellum back and the cerebrum that way, but I can see them if I look at just half of this model's brain, half of the brain model. Here is the cerebrum, here is the cerebellum, and between them we, f we found the four bumps that are the corpora quadrigemina. So right in this region, were I able to bend in between here and see it, I could see the bumps that make up the corpora quadrigemina, although I'm only looking at half of them now, so instead of four, I can see two. This is the superior colliculus, this is the inferior colliculus. This little pink bump right here is the pineal body or the pineal gland. Now back to the inferior surface, let's find the peduncles. The peduncles formed a V on either side of the mammillary body. Here are the mammillary bodies and here is the peduncle. Cerebral peduncle here, cerebral peduncle here, thick swellings on either side of the mammillary body. All right. That takes care of the external brain.